Hey guys, welcome to Naledi Dilena. It's a girl Naledi and I hope you enjoy this video. The idea of this video came to me as I was scrolling through the Twitter TL and I just saw that left, right and center people were being exposed everybody and their mama's old tweets was being used against them and it made me feel worried as an avid twitter user and then i thought it means other people are also worried we're all worried and dealing with what we're going through right now is enough already but having the past catch up to you that's a whole different ball game but don't worry, I am here to help and that is the purpose of this video. I've got for you five steps in how to deal with your old problematic teeth coming back to haunt you. My first step is do not delete your old tweets, okay? You might be thinking, no, I want the evidence to go away. I want to clean up the whole issue. First of all, you're dumb. It's too late. They've already taken all the screenshots they needed to take and the evidence is out there. You look really suspicious. I mean, it might be wise to take down the old tweets, but seeing that you tweeted those things in the first place, I'm pretty sure that's not the look you're going for. You kind of want to look like somebody who hates being caught, not somebody who hates what they actually did, you know? The type of person that doesn't mind if what they're doing doesn't come to the full light because they're not truly guilty that's the look my second piece of advice is to wait it out now i know what you're thinking you're like wouldn't i want to issue an apology or a statement straight after but you want to let people you know get more and more outraged. Let the outrage fester is what I mean, you know? Let the public court form an opinion against you. Also, waiting it out shows that you don't care. And if we're being honest, that's probably true. My third piece of advice is, in due time, issue an apology. I know in my second point I said wait it out. That means delaying the apology, not denying the people of it. That's downright cruel, unless that's the look you're going for. And if that's the case, go ahead. Now with an apology, you want to just say, I'm sorry. A lot of people will tell you that's insincere or incomplete and that it doesn't bother them. They don't feel like any justice has been served, but that's not gonna stop you. Just give them a really hasty and lackluster apology. A classic way of doing this is to go on your notes app, script out your apology, take a screenshot of that and post it on Twitter. Quality content. I will tell you to avoid doing a or an, ooh, an apology video. Why? Because through an apology video, people can clock if you're insincere through your facial expressions, how dramatic you are etc etc and you don't want that you want to distance yourself from the problem do whatever it takes to make it go away and make sure that people don't look into it way too much don't forget to say i am sorry if i offended you that if is important saying if i offended you allows people to see that you really don't see any wrongdoing that you've done and that you just want the problem to go away. Saying if means that you're not ready to take accountability or that you're really just doing this for the PR, which is probably the case. My fourth piece of advice is make sure you point out how to my fourth piece of advice is make sure you point out how great of a person you are. Now, in light of recent events, it might seem that you're actually a terrible person, but what you want to do is clean up your image. You can do this after the apology or within the apology. Talk about all the charity work that you've done and make sure all your friends defend you on Twitter. You really need it. 
What you want to do is distract people from the situation and make it all about yourself. Because really, it's always about you. Show the world that you are great. You need to be forgiven. Forget everybody else and their feelings. Ain't nobody care. My fifth step is to take no accountability and make no change. Going through this whole debacle, you might feel as if you want to avoid the situation altogether again. But that means taking accountability and making changing. You know, delving into the root of the problem, fixing it, and continuously renewing that commitment to stay changed. That's a lot of time. That's the same amount of time you can take to rebuild your career, make people realize that you're still a great person, you know, distract people from the situation. And besides, if we're being honest, your career will still carry on, so don't bother about it. I mean, it will carry on unless you're black or a woman. God forbid you're both. Redemption might not come then. Sorry, guys. If all else fails, here's a bonus tip. Gaslight people. Exactly. Gaslight people if nothing works to your advantage. Lie and deny any wrongdoing. If any of the people try to tell you otherwise, make sure you gather all your people to double down on your haters. Because that's what the accusers are. Haters. Trust me. There's no way that they could be right and could be telling you logical and rational reasons why you're wrong. Try your best to warp the reality against those people and to your advantage. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope it was informative and that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you guys think. Don't forget also to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at naledi underscore Jelena. Hope to see you in the next video.